In this Warner Brothers motion picture, we see a group of civilians who are in the middle of a life-threatening tornado. This one idiot guy decides to get all up close and personal with the tornado and ends up getting murdered by Mother Nature. Cut to our main character, female lead. You may remember her from that hit TV show. Well, she's leading a team of storm chasers and it's really kind of awkward since she won't listen to anybody's advice. Actually, the only person she listens to is this elderly woman who serves as her motherly figure for advice and stuff. We meet this blue collar dude, hence the little blue collar shirt he wears with his blazer for most of the film. He's dealing with a domestic issue and looking for a resolution. In my opinion, it would be in good taste to settle these disputes after all these tornado warnings. Yeah, about these tornado warnings. Okay, I'm from Florida and we get tornado warnings on TV from time to time. When we get them, uh, I take them seriously. This movie takes place in Oklahoma. They get about 62 tornadoes a year. How do I know? That's one point for me, two points for Wikipedia. At that rate, it's disturbing how despite these featured tornado watches, the nonchalant characters continue to participate in their regularly scheduled social events. Okay, now back to the storm chasers. You as the audience are supposed to believe they're really good at what they do, but it's kind of tough as they keep missing storms, which is weird because these other guys who are only in it for the money and attention and stuff, they barely have any storm chasing credentials and manage to beat them to the punch a couple of times. If this were real life, they would have been lost their jobs. But unfortunately, what the hell? It starts telling everywhere and they get caught up in the force of nature and it's pretty ugly. Relocated tractors, some barn vandalism, and the Oklahoma suburbs get torn to shreds. Town looks destroyed and police can't get there quick enough, so main character guy comes to the rescue and starts saving all the dogs in the neighborhood. As scary as the storm sounds, I mean, life flashing before your eyes in the whole nine, tornadoes are apparently a natural aphrodisiac for some of our main characters. Later on, they get word that an F5 tornado is heading towards their direction. For those of you who don't know what an F5 tornado is, Google describes it as one of the most violent meteorological events known to man with estimated winds in excess of 261 miles per hour. All the storm chasers are like, we got to warn the others. Yeah, about that. I get where they're coming from trying to save future victims or whatever, but the storm chasers aren't exactly a top thousand tactical rescue force. On this one part, they're saving a loved one from this rebel, and I swear, they hurt more than they help. They keep adding weight to the collapsing debris and nearly kill the victim instead of helping. I give them all an A for effort at least. Except this one camera guy who's all like, dude, what did I sign up for? And before you give him a hard time, I too could see how he could probably misunderstand the job description of a storm chaser. It wasn't a way that he'd be, um, chasing storms. Lots of people end up dying. And remember those guys in the beginning who are only in it for the publicity and the money? They get swallowed by the tornado. Movie starts getting really intense when the tornado start doing this double dragon thingy and fusing together. The F5 keeps getting closer and closer to our heroes. After a lot of road debris, they have to leave their vehicles and figure that they have a better chance of outrunning the tornado by foot instead of cars, which makes perfect sense. Good news is our main characters finally come face to face with the tornado. The bad news is they have to hold on to bars as they're captured into that same storm and hold on for their dear lives. With winds over 241 miles per hour, our polite tornado pauses to say hello and allow the audience to witness the eye of the storm. But every storm must pass and this one isn't any different. Tornado goes bye bye and you get a nice little aerial shot to show the destruction left behind by the whirlwind. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes? No? Maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more weekly 24 reason videos.